Hello everyone, hope you are doing good and in this video we will see how we can install cyber panel. Uh, before that what I will do is I will create a VM in front of you. Once the VM is created then we will go ahead and install cyber panel in Ubuntu server. Okay, so I am using Proxmox for my virtual environment and here I will create the virtual machine first. To create a virtual machine, I will create this uh, as I shown in the last video that I have already downloaded the ISO file uh, to install this. So I will right click here and I will create VM. Okay. So I need to put the VM name here. So I will put it as Ubuntu 22-04. So this is the server name which I am using as Ubuntu 22.04. I will click next. Now it is asking us to put the ISO file. So I will select the ISO file which I have downloaded. I will use 22.04. So this is the ISO file I'm going to use. I will click next. Then I will not going to change anything in the system setting. I will click next here and here I will select the disk. So in case I want to create a virtual machine and I want that virtual machine to have 100 GB of SSD. So in case you want a VPS server from us, you can go ahead and get in touch with us. So this is a fast VPS, which I am trying to create for running WordPress websites. Uh, but before that, we are going to uh, going to install cyber panel. So I'll click next. And here I am selecting the number of cores. So what I will do is I will use the number of core at this moment four. And it is very interesting that we can scale it up as many uh, CPU we want. I will click next. So I am going with the RAM. But what I will do is I will use like 4096 and I will click next. So in the network section, I am not going to do any changes. I will click next and I will confirm. So I will go ahead and see that what exactly the options I have selected. Now we are perfectly fine. I will click finish. So once we click finish, now you can see slowly and gradually this process is going to be completed and we will be able to see Ubuntu 2020, uh, 2022.0. 04. So now I will go to the console section and if I go to the summary, I will see that how much CPU, how much memory, how much disk I have already been allocated to this machine. I will go to the console section. I will click start now. So once I click start now, automatically it is going to boot up with the disk which we have attached that is ISO file of Ubuntu server. So I will click enter and this process is going to start installing Ubuntu server. Okay, now you can see the installation wizard is already kicked off. It is asking us to select the language. I will go ahead and select English and I will click continue without update. Uh, we can we can install the newer update that is fine. I am continue without updating it and I will click done and we are going to use Ubuntu server that is fine. I will click uh, done here and automatically you can see it has picked up a IP address from our GHCP server anytime we want this IP to be static we can configure it that is not the problem I will select done and here I will skip this I will click done again and now it is going to see if it is able to communicate with Ubuntu archive server so I will give some time it is going to see and it is able to get communication so now you can see it is able to do that I will click done and now you can see we are it is giving us information that do you want to use the entire disk so we will say yes we want to do that and I will use tab to scroll it down to done and I will hit enter and now it is giving us a little bit of idea what exactly it is going to do. So I'm okay with this. I will click done and it is still asking us that all the data is going to be removed. So you need to be very careful what you are doing. So I will go ahead and hit enter selecting continue. So now it is asking us to put the name. So what I will do is I'll put my name here. While I'm filling this form, go ahead and subscribe our channel and shoot out the comments in case you have any query. So meanwhile, I put the server name. I will put a server name as uh, this is uh, uh, CP 
zero one so this will be our cyber panel so i will put at cp01 i'll put a username and i will choose a secret password here so make sure you're picking up a password which is quite strong and i will go ahead and then select done so now it is asking us uh, do you want to upgrade so i'm not going to upgrade at this moment i will click continue do you want to install open ssh server it is it is really important go ahead and uh, do that because uh, we want to manage the server from ssh right so i'm enabling it and i will hit ent enter select after selecting done and now it is giving me more information if you want to add something else we are not going to do that because we are very clear that what exactly we need to do we need to install cyber panel in this machine now we need to wait for a while once this installation is complete then we will go ahead and reboot this server So now you can see the installation is complete so we can go ahead and reboot the system so i will uh, select the reboot and i will click uh, reboot and now you can see the system is about to reboot so it says it is failing to uh, unmount so no problem i will hit enter and uh, it will go ahead and uh, reboot the system uh, with the installation which i have done so we will wait for some time and we will see that we are able to um, see the ubuntu is properly installed or not now you can see we we are there in the login screen and uh, it seems that uh, all the settings are done it is still trying to execute certain things so i guess uh, it is already been done finish wait until the snap is fully seeded that is fine so we'll wait for a few more minutes so meanwhile it is running so what i want to do is i will go to the hardware we don't require the disk now so i will click this and i will select do not use the media i will click okay and i will go back to the console and now uh, we will see this is running so we will hit enter now i guess it is done so what i will give uh, what i will do is i will, I will give a try accessing this with uh, putty so i will open putty and i will i will put the ip address here uh, which is once 192.168.8 and i will try to do a open ssh it is it is it is, it is uh, asking us to accept i will accept this and here i will use my id so which i have already filled up there and i will put my password and we expect that we are logged in now you can see we are logged in that is really great and i will clear my screen and now we will start the installation of cyber panel so before we go ahead and start the installation of cyber panel we need to know that we are up to date to with our ubuntu so for that i am going to run a command which is sudo apt update and then also along with it i also want to run upgrade okay so i will hit enter and now it is asking us to put the command and the password uh, which we have put there so now you can see i have filled up my password i will try to fill it here again make sure i'm filling it correctly now it is going through so this process is going to update the libraries and also going to upgrade necessary updates which are required so after this process we will go ahead and kick off the cyber panel install and it will be a really easy i will share all the commands and if you need any help you will you are going to get the link of our forum where you can really go ahead and uh, get your question answered So I will select this and I will click OK. And now you can see it is completed. 
so now the next step is we are going to uh, run a command but before that i strongly suggest that you are uh, using sudo uh, to run the command so i will hit this uh, command which is going to go ahead and um, um, download the cyber panel as well as it is going to start the installation so we will try to see that if it really go ahead and start the stuff now you can see it says cannot write to success so i will i will wait for some time and we'll see what is going to happen so i will try to switch to root because when we are switching to root uh, this may uh, work for us so what i will do is i will i will run again with this command and let's see okay now i am again uh, because it is asking us to uh, run this from root so i was there in root but it i was there in a different home directory i don't know it, it it should not make any huge difference but i will try to run the command again So now it says that you are running with root so it is giving us information that um, you can see just go ahead few things we will see that branch is fetched uh, root privileged is checked okay you are running as root that is fine the valid ip is detected the uh, checking the server location that is fine desktop os is not detected proceeding uh, then it is also checking the ubuntu server which is detected that is fine checking the virtualization type and then it is asking us to uh, it is giving us two option either we select uh, install server panel or uh, exit so here we want to install i will select one and i will hit enter now it gives us an option install server panel with open light speed or enterprise light speed so at this moment i will go ahead and use open light speed so i will click one and i will hit enter so now you really want to install the complete thing and we will type yes type y and hit enter so do you want to install mysql a uh, yes and uh, remote uh, remote host name uh, what we will do is we will give like cp01 dot gpl wp then uh, it is uh, world dot uh, com okay so we'll use this and remote uh, uh, remote database connection meta information regarding the mysql usually mysql that is fine i will click uh, this remote username it is asking us to put the username here so what i will do is i will put a username here So I will go with the uh, default port. So press enter with the latest version. Okay. And uh, do you want to install um, Memshed process PHP extension? So we can go ahead and install that. And uh, do you want to uh, do you want to wish uh, the Redis? I will go ahead and install. So I'll try to install whatever uh, possible there. And so I will I will now it says uh, please type by for okay i will why 
and now let's wait for some time. 